first day in Croatia, we left Slovenia behind. We absolutely loved our time there. It's a beautiful, beautiful country, but we're really looking forward to seeing what Croatia has to offer. Mm, and we don't know an awful lot about uh, Croatia. Mm. It didn't exist when I was here 27 years, years ago. <laughs> so if anyone's got any tips, you guys out there know a lot more than we do. Um, our plan roughly is to head south as far as Zeta. We'd like to go further, but time means that we can't go everywhere. And then from there we're going to head inland and to eventually Hungary, yep, eventually Hungary, Czech, and, Czech yeah. Republic and Poland. So any tips on that kind of route, we'd be very, very keen. First day in Croatia, first campsite in Croatia. Now this campsite is enormous. There's capacity here for 3,000 people. That's a town. Luckily for us at this time of the year, it's pretty quiet, probably only 15-20% of that capacity is uh, in residence at the moment. The beach is 80 metres behind me and like any town it's got a baker, it's got a fruit shop, it's got a bar. I think the only thing it hasn't got is a church. things here in Rovine. We've been up to uh, St Euphemia's church on the top of the hill so that gave us some good views. Interesting thing about the streets here, they're cobbled and the cobbles are so worn that it's a bit like walking on glass. This place is probably about 2,000 years old. The bit we're on now, the old part, was actually an island and it's been governed by the Venetians, by the Romans, it's been part of the Byzantine Empire so it's had a pretty colourful history. Two official languages here, Italian and Croatian and it was and still seems to be um, quite a bustling little fishing port. What time is it now, Renee? I think it's going to be pizza time. Back in Rome, 
Not quite. We are in Pula, which is about half an hour from Rovine. Because we couldn't get into the Colosseum in Rome, we thought we'd check out the one here. There's hardly any people here. It's actually not quite open because we're a bit too early. Um, we're not going to be hanging around the Pula for long though, because parking, it turns out, is a bit of an issue. But we did find a bakery, so at least we've got lunch sorted. <laughs> Nice little hairpin bend here in Croatia. Now we have been taking quite a few toll roads lately but mainly because we've had to pick up our pace a bit because we've been basically been dawdling really haven't we? Too many cream cakes. Yeah but we've sort of realised if we don't if we don't go a bit faster we're not going to see everything we want to see but we have decided for this leg of our journey through Croatia that we won't take the toll roads because we want to see something a little bit more scenic and the roads here are actually really good so hopefully a bit further on we'll be able to show you some beautiful Adriatic coast You probably can't see it, but uh, the van is there, tucked away behind that tree. Lunch on the Adriatic. Feeling rather relaxed here on the edge of the Adriatic. We are, I think it's called Sen, the town that we're at for the night. We're actually staying in the restaurant above us in their car park so it's a bit like the pub stops we had in the UK which we really enjoyed so you can stay in their car park and the expectation is that you will buy a meal or a drink so we figured we'd do that for a change we haven't done that in Europe yet but yeah pretty gorgeous spot <laughs> 